गुड इवनिंग वेलकम टू गना शॉर्ट गना शॉर्ट में आप सबको स्वागत है आज हम एक बहुत ही इंपॉर्टेंट विषय के बारे में हम बात करेंगे और वो है प्रोटेक्टिंग इंडिया थ्रू साइबर सॉवर्निटी राइट आज कल का दुनिया जो है पूरा साइबर का दुनिया है साइबर का मतलब नेटवर्किंग बातचीत इंफॉर्मेशन वगैरह वगैरह इस माहौल में डेटा चुराया जाता है राइट गलत डेटा भी दिया जाता है ओके और इसमें हमारा जो सॉवर्निटी है वो उल्लंघन हो जाता है और उसके बारे में हमारे साथ बात करने के लिए हैं मेरे साथ पवित्र राजन वेलकम पवित्र वेलकम टू गना शॉट इट्स एन ऑनर दैट यू आर हिया Good, uh, good evening sir thank you for having me on your show yeah and thanks a lot for coming main batana chahta hu uh pavitran rajan is a military veteran he is a tech entrepreneur and an academic and most importantly he is an expert on data security information warfare and cyber sovereignty uh he has been an advisor to the home uh, ministry of home affairs uh he's been teaching uh he's been on the board of uh you know two companies and he's very active right and i find him you know uh quite informed and knowledgeable about this business of cyber sovereignty data sovereignty and information warfare kind of reason jab maine isliye dekhiye maine pehle hi bata diya aap sab logon ko ki gana shot mein aapko quality milega aur ye jo quality zahir karte hain mr pavitran rajan pavitran welcome to the show your opening words and then i will get on to the subject proper so thank you so much sir for that very kind introduction uh, you know in fact uh, it's my privilege and honor to be on your show and uh, i i am just you know i just prepared a couple of slides i've listened to all your previous broadcasts and uh, i have known you for some time so now so i think uh, let's see so how you direct me and try and elicit what yeah. a little bit i can contribute oh no you have a lot to contribute uh, isme koi doubt nahi hai but let me let us put things in context first i want to talk ek do minute multi domain warfare ke bare mein क्योंकि आजकल के दुनिया में ये जमाना गया जब हम लड़ाई सीधा लड़ते थे आर्मी के थ्रू या नेवी या एयरफोर्स के थ्रू आजकल का दुनिया है मल्टी डोमेन वॉरफेयर अगर आप देखिए मल्टी डोमेन वॉरफेयर में क्या क्या है ऊपर से देखिए मल्टी डोमेन वॉरफेयर जो है ये वॉर नहीं है पीस नहीं है कोई ग्रे जोन भी है सब कुछ है ये दिन रात सब कुछ चलता है अगर आप बाएं देखें तो एक्टर्स इसमें स्टेट उठते हैं नॉन स्टेट हो सकते हैं स्टेट स्पॉन्सर्ड हो सकते हैं एनजीओ हो सकते हैं एमएनसी हो सकते हैं मींस तरीका राइट राइट में जो बॉक्स में है वो है हार्ड पावर इसका इस्तेमाल किया जा सकता है सॉफ्टवेयर पावर कन्वेंशनल नॉन कन्वेंशनल पावर सब कुछ सब कुछ जायज है आज के दुनिया में लड़ाई में अच्छा लड़ाई देशों के बीच में हो सकता है प्रांतों के बीच में हो सकता है अलायसेस के बीच में हो सकता है सिविल वॉर भी हो सकता है कई देशों में सिविल वॉर भी चल रहा है वो भी मल्टी डोमेन वॉरफेयर इस्तेमाल करते हैं अमूमन हम सोचते हैं कन्वेंशनल डोमेन्स हैं एयर लैंड और सी उसके बाद जो हरा गोल है जो दाइने स्पेस साइबर स्पेस न्यूक्लियर और इलेक्ट्रो स्पेक्ट्रम ये जो है इंपॉर्टेंस ले रहे हैं और ये इंटरकनेक्टेड है सारे अगर आप देखिए तो साइबर स्पेस के बारे में हम साइबर सॉवरिटी के बारे में बात करेंगे पर इसका इस्तेमाल स्पेस के जरिए भी हो सकता है और इलेक्ट्रोमैग्नेट स्पेक्ट्रम की जरूरत है इसके लिए राइट right? और आजकल साइबर स्पेस जो है लड़ाई में बहुत इस्तेमाल किया जा रहा है जैसे यूक्रेन और रशिया के बीच में हुआ राइट right? आगे देखिए जो डोमेन है एनर्जी पॉलिटिक्स डिप्लोमेसी और इकोनॉमी इसमें भी साइबर स्पेस का इस्तेमाल किया जाता है इसमें भी साइबर डेटा चुराया जाता है और बेचा जाता है यहां तक कि इलेक्शन के लिए भी डेटा दे, बेचा जाता है और खरीदा जाता है ये कारोबार है 
जहां तख्ता बदलता है और ये तीन जो एलो में है इन्फ्लुएंस लीगल और पब्लिक ओपिनियन ये चाइना के खास डोमेन है जिसको बोलते हैं हम थ्री वॉर्स है स्ट्रेटेजी कल हमने जब बिपिंद्रा साहब से बात किया था हमने इन्फ्लुएंस ऑप्स के बारे में बात किया लीगल ऑप्स के बारे में बाद में क्या बात करेंगे पर पब्लिक ओपिनियन पब्लिक ओपिनियन इज ऑल अबाउट इंफॉर्मेशन वॉरफेयर जो पवित्र राजन साहब जो हैं उसमें एक्सपर्ट हैं साइबर स्पेस ही नहीं इसमें भी एक्सपर्ट है तो आज इसको मैं बताते हुए आई विल हैंड ओवर एवरीथिंग टू पवित्र जस्ट कैरी ऑन यू गॉट द होल थिंग पूरा आकार आपने देख लिया आप हिंदी में बात कर सकते हो इंग्लिश में बात कर सकते हो या स्पेनिश में बात कर सकते हो पर बात कीजिए और आपके दिल में जो है वो बात कीजिए खुल के ओवर टू यू पवित्र thank you sir so how do i control the screen uh, that uh, slide yeah i'll show you don't worry just tell me okay. i'll show you yeah should i okay. show the first slide uh, sure sir ah, yeah. there it is there it is sir so thank you sir i you know we created this for uh, about cyber sovereignty so um wait well, it's again vanish no it'll Sister. come don't worry it will just come yeah okay yeah there it is so i just, i can control it with the yeah just try yeah. if it doesn't will i'll control it for you Oh, I'll control it for you. Don't worry. Put your mic on. Ah, okay. Uh, so thank you, sir. Uh, can I can we go on that first slide, yeah. sir? Thank you, thank you, so, uh, thank you. So cyber sovereignty, um, uh, as per that, you know what we have said is, uh, it says uh, it refers to so- sovereignty over a particular domain, and that is cyberspace. so why do we have sovereignty sovereignty is a very vast concept which has evolved through uh, you know centuries i would say from kings to nations today they say there is you know interconnected sovereignty although people have different this people say there is a international uh, there should be one world government there are people who say you know it's national government but fact remains that all of us are under uh, you know a national sovereignty because my passport we got a constitution we got a passport Uh, and if something goes wrong us uh, with us today we look forward to uh, the nation coming to our aid like for example hamare kafi uh, citizens who were stuck in sudan no one else came to their aid it was uh, india who went to their aid and that is what's uh, uh, central about citizenship so we have we the people have created a nation to look after our interests and uh, we even today when we talk about uh, you know all our rights all our duties are centered around the state Uh, in future if you have one world government whenever that happens dekhi yeah, jayegi ha dekhi jayegi par jab tak wo nahi hai to be in a nation hold one pass- passport and talk about a global village and then bat for a global village while being on service of an, this i would say is slightly foolish and there yeah. are reasons for that because history shows us that uh, you know uh, if people don't band up and if nations are not secure other nations and people will always try to come and exploit you even our uh, very uh, you know recent history we are just we are a very old nation uh, we are a very old civilization but we are also very young we just you know 40, 47 mein azadi mila uh, 50 mein republic ban, bana and wo republic ko guard karne ke liye humko always alert rehna padega so next yeah. slide sir yeah so so uh, when i uh, you know i did not have a uh, i am a self taught man because i'm a military man and uh, when we came and i started looking at the cyberspace uh, i did not have uh, you know um, i my thought process was not directed uh, by anyone and i took a military look at the whole domain what is this domain all about so military mein hum kya hai we try to say kitna actors hai kya hai what is a map kya hai hmm. so cyber security agar uh, if you try to study as a engineer that perspective is not there they only look at the engineering part uh, aspects of it because of which i feel that as uh, this nation has missed out you know on uh, having a strategic outlook to cyberspace and another reason they have missed out is this nation has always been uh, you know um, its independence itself uh, you know and uh, when uh, the founding fathers took over uh, when i look back at the history they feared that the military might take over so they kept the military away from governance and uh, that i personally feel has harmed the nation and it's time to change 
because the military is a very very important stakeholder of of a democratic nation you cannot keep you know them away at arm distance and think that you will build a nation uh, you just cannot do that so now if you look at this map um, you will find when i looked at cyberspace i realized cyberspace is a in uh, you know our internet was a darpa creation and a darpa darpa kya hai ye hamara drdo jaise jaise american drdo theek hai aur unka uh, if any budget is allocated to that a particular organization and if they do something they have to justify to the american people ki america ka uh, you know defense ke liye central hai so if you look at the history of darpa uh, the internet the americans when they were fighting the war in vietnam the insurgency they realized the whole thing was all about controlling the population of vietnam so how do you control the population so they realized that we they needed huge data sets uh, of, of the people and they realized that it it would require network computers to analyze where the people are what are they up to what is their background that's only way you can police them okay is tarah shuru hua and then the americans being americans because that's a very smart nation and there this is we are a new nation you the rest of the world if you are smart enough and you are enterprising enough you come here join us take our citizenship and we will allow you to fulfill your dreams so what it means is they attract the most enterprising and the most brainy people from people. all over the world so when i uh, you know look at this i'm just going off topic a little bit hum as a nation we have created some great organizations uh educational organizations like iit iims etc janal saab to abhi udhar professor hai ek iit mein uh par uh, aur hamara tax payers we are a poor nation also because a large proportion of our people are below the poverty line but still the founding fathers decided that we should also have these advanced you know uh, you know educational institutions for nation building but aaj wo nahi ho raha if a, a person gets into iit he is a brilliant uh, boy or a girl he uh, is gets a subsidized education and the creamy part of that uh, you know people work for foreign you know his aspiration yeah, okay. is well, I, i mean we know that i mean uh, yes. we know this thing so uh, it, it is still important sir because still important yeah. i'm just touching on that and that is something why because when that creamy portion of the nation is working for someone else then uh, uh, what i am going to do, yeah we have a problem and we may not understand what we are doing because uh, you know so here comes when i look at the internet the internet is finally controlled by those root zone servers okay and those root zone servers the numbers are marked out there um, you know it is it has got an alphabet alphabetic you know um, yeah thank you it's got a alphabetic uh, order and you will realize other than three rest everything is in the us because they founded the internet okay and those three uh, if you look at the map uh, one is in england one is in europe and the other is in japan then there are thousands of instances of these root zone servers all over the world including in india and that is how the internet this controls the dns so if you have to uh, connect to the internet these root zone servers tell you where to you know from where to go if you log in it there is a hierarchy in which finally the root zone server controls it and if this root zone access to these root zone servers are cut off the internet just stops functioning yeah for me this was very profound and i realized our entire economy our entire information everything is going to firstly to a domain which we have zero control over that means uh, uh, we were we were colonized and we were economically exploited तो हम तो इसके इसके इस डोमेन के अंदर कूद के विदाउट रियलाइजिंग वी आर सेइंग 100 परसेंट डिजिटल इकोनॉमी बनाएंगे और दैट इकोनॉमी के ऊपर हमारा कंट्रोल तो काफी लिमिटेड है एंड दैट वाज आई रियलाइज ओके दिस इज समथिंग व्हिच आई नीड टू स्टडी मोर अबाउट आई नीड टू यू नो यू नो कंसंट्रेट ऑन दिस इज गॉट अ इमेंस नेशनल सिक्योरिटी यू नो प्रोपोर्शन सो टुडे दिस रूट्स ऑन सर्वर्स is uh, is uh, by an, a non profit organization called ican pehle this ican used to be under the us government but when uh, after snowden when people started waking up and realize that this is not a as benign a domain as what it appears to be they said it will be under multi stakeholders multi stakeholders means 
uh, even NGOs and other people can have some you know, control over it. But the fact is, since, like I initially told you, sovereign nations have got their own legal process and they have got their police forces. So, NGO ke udhar aake lathi laga diya aur bola kholo ya band karo, isko cut off karo. So, jo wo nation batayega, usko kar, unko karna padega. Because ICANN is not an armed organization which can defend. So, I say organization kya hai? UN hai. In, in fact, we, you know, nations have said UN is a this and it is protected by diplomas, uh, diplomatic, you know, this. And um, ITU is there to, you know, uh, ITU is organization which the UN had foreseen for connecting for communications. Actually, wo ITU ke paas niche jana chahiye. Aur uh, thoda saal pahle tak hum bhi bolte te ki ye ITU ke niche jana chahiye. Because uh, this is something common to mankind. But the West did not want that. And suddenly out of the blue, we started talking the language of the West. Why that has happened is a matter of debate. Is it in our interest as a former colony to bat for people who are colonists and who might be able to create your economy? It might be able to control your thought process, might be able to, you know, um, control the election process, etc. is another matter. Uh, I have always said that uh, with uh, ISPs now going to the space, you uh, that Elon Musk has satellite a launch satellite directly satellite aayega to local hamara idhar local agar koi riot ho gaya kuch ho gaya kya karta hai the dc says are idhar band karo internet because ye to kafi um, problem ho raha hai ha problem ho raha hai people are putting photographs this that out par kal wo control space mein chala gaya to hum wo bhi control nahi kar payenge and with fake news uh, you know disinformation uh, artificially uh, generate uh, artificial intelligence generated uh, you know fake images and videos that can be very, very dangerous. So uh, I had, uh, you know, so yes, this, sorry. this, yeah, yeah, you can go to the next slide also. So I'll explain that. So I had written a uh, long time back, about six, seven years back, once I realized when I was an advisor with the ministry that our policymakers have not understood the strategic aspects of its domain because I had opportunity that time to interact with them. And they were old men, uh, slightly old men and slightly older women. And uh, they were looking at youngsters to understand cybersecurity and this. They had no understanding of the strategic aspects of this domain. I wrote a small paper called Fallacy of the Cyber Commons, which was appreciated. And a lot of people, you know, changed their views. So this particular slide is another, you know, slide. What, hap what this shows is uh, these are the places where these undersea cables come and connect to uh, the, uh, the Indian gateways. Okay. A very high percentage of it is of Mumbai. Rest were all created much more recently. But um, if you look at Mumbai and that particular, you know, set of cables, which goes across the Arabian Sea uh, and into Africa, anywhere out there, uh, I today don't think our armed forces ha understand that to protect this uh, environment, we need to have power projection and detection capabilities to protect this. Because if, if those cables get cut, since ours is transiting to a 100% digital economy, kaput. How do you defend this country? How do you run this country? Your stock exchanges to your banking to everything, including what we are doing today, will, might, uh, will not happen. Just collapse. Because it will collapse. Uh, it will hold up for some time, seven days or something. But after which, because I had interacted with ICANN, they also said as if access to root zone servers are, you know, are uh, disrupted, Maybe seven days it might hold up. Quite frightening. Uh, we now need to think about re other nations have taken precautions. Russia, China, etc. They've carried out military exercises, uh, creating technology to see even if they cut off access to the outside world, will their internet and the critical infrastructure hold up? I don't think uh, we are even thinking in those directions because there is a very strong lobby out here, which is dependent on the outsourcing industry which still, I still keep hearing, oh, we are a global village. I would like to ask them, is there a passport which you're holding? I only understand, you know, we are a republic. We are a, we have got our own constitution. I have not seen this global village, uh, you know, written in that particular document. There is a military. I don't know whether the military, you know, understands what they're doing. People are saying that there are people who have said also, uh, we are for, uh, you know, rule-based, you know, world order. I have not, because as far as I understand, we are a nation where we listen to the UN. 
uh, and any UN resolution, but a rule, who makes those rules, who enforces those rules, and are we a signatory to those rules? That's a very interesting... Yeah, yeah so you... I, 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 let me pitch in here. Sure, sir. You are saying that you very important thing you have said. Rule-based order. Who has made a rule? Where is the rule? Who will do it? Who will do it? Who will do it? This is a big question. Everyone makes their own rule. Who is the lady, who is the bench. ये सबसे पहले ये बात है दूसरी बात ये है कि जिस तरीके से आप बता रहे हो हम हमारा देश बाकी देशों के ऊपर और बाकी रिसोर्सेस जो आउट ऑफ कंट्री रिसोर्सेस के ऊपर निर्भर है वो कभी भी हमारा नल का बंद कर सकते हैं यहां तक जितना आपने बोल दिया इसी से मेरे को पता चल रहा है कि हमें अपने पैर पे खड़े होना है और रोज डिजिटल इंडिया को बनाने के लिए हमारा पैर पे कड़ा होने के लिए बहुत कुछ काम करना पड़ेगा और कोई ग्लोबल विलेज कोई ये कुछ नहीं है हम फौजी हैं जो हमारा है हमें इसको खुद बचाना है यहां तक मेरे मेरे ख्याल में मेरा अंदाज सही है कि नहीं बिल्कुल सही है सर और कोई हमारा मदद के लिए आएगा नहीं कल अगर नहीं शुरू हो गया हमारा हिस्ट्री ही बोलता है पर इसी में एक चीज है uh, I had counted you know, 15 of those. In fact, in, when you look at uh, information warfare, it's more or less similar to that similar, because it's a, yeah. yeah, similar. But, the, you know, it has also got neuroscience, psychology, anthropology, etc. So, they're all we, in, yeah, in, in, rolled in, into it. Yeah. Yes. So, the Americans are brilliant people. They've studied all this and they've realized basically what are we? We are great apes, naked great apes, Homo sapiens. And what is the most central character of apes? We like to ape each, ape ape each, each other. Each other. Okay. Yes. <laughs> That's a nice one. <laughs> yes. So okay. when you see influencers and uh, you know uh, thought leaders today, the West is you know West is the place where we all look up to. And when we see their philosophers, their educationists, their thought leaders talking about global you know rules based order, when they talk about a global village, etc. We as apes tend to ape them without understanding the context. Yeah. So uh, my one thing is I've repeatedly heard that people say that, oh, it's because our language, we are studying the English in English. That is why we, you know, we are started yeah. following them. I mean, if I put it there, you'll get fooled in English. So since we know too much of English, yeah, but, you'll get but, fooled but, in English. But that I, I you know, uh, English is now become, you know, at least when I grew up in my house, we used to speak Manglish because there used mm -hmm. to be, you know, um, yeah, I understand. You know, yeah, people used to, you know, be, uh, my school had people from, uh, you know, from different parts of India. In my family also, people were married. We all used to speak Manglish. So I know a little bit of English. I know a little bit of Manglish. I speak. That has become our language also in some ways. Yes. And why do you need to turn it back? The aim is not to cut off English. The aim is to teach people how to think critically because, yeah. I learned my entire thing through English and I could see it. Now I am also I don't I also belong to the family of great apes, but I studied why do people follow a particular ideology? And uh, even if there are evidences, I realize that we are, you know, we have evolved to follow ritualization. Uh, you know, yeah. rituals. All our religions, etc., they make rituals, whether they understand what are those rituals implying or not, as great apes, we will ape them, and that is how. The world has been made and uh, people are following it. But we need to make them understand the rituals. When Swami Vivekananda, you know, many years said yeah. that there will be no mm -hmm. idol worship and there will be no em empty rituals. That needs to also come into cyberspace and and the teaching in cyberspace. Okay. Uh, uh, next slide, sir. Okay. So uh, when I got into the subject about approximately 20 years back, there was a great debate at that time. Cyber security. Is it got to do with cyber or is it got to do with security? So well, cyber meant technical. Only certain people, engineers, etc. understand that. So all the people who understood technology said, no, 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 it's cyber. Cyber is more central. Uh, I, uh, you know, started off my life as an infantry officer, non-technical. And then I came into intelligence corps. Intelligence uh, of any nation usually are considered the security experts. So I, since I don't, did not, do, uh, you know, study, uh, understand this domain, and I was a student, I continue to be a student, but slowly I realized we have been taken for a major ride. 
And uh, I was one of the people who understood before the Snowden revelations that if the world is being controlled in this way, uh, I was not surprised with what came out during the Snowden revelations. Okay, so this particular slide basically shows a Cisco router being opened up. Okay, and there, uh, there are hardware impl implants and there are software which is updated wherein it beats the air gap. So Indian Army ka hamara military networks, even today they say we are air gapped. But a 2013 mein picture aaya hai ki, uh, this is how it is broken. But we have still spent about 30,000 crores in the last few years to set up our military network. I find it amazing, but I understand we are apes. We are people who follow rituals. Okay. We follow. Yeah. You made so a point. That, yes. <laughs> you made a point. Okay. Let's okay. get ahead. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Uh, next slide, sir. Yeah. <laughs> okay. So this is another thing. We are all, you know, uh, a large part of our educated cream of the population work in all these iconic big tech companies. Okay. And there are a lot of our people who are pioneers in this field who have become billionaires and millionaires. Uh, but what does this, uh, uh, you know, uh, and people of Indian origin also had some of these, you know, uh, iconic firms. But the truth is, these are all also controlled under secret, uh, you know, laws with the U.S. intelligence. Yes. And today, China is following the same. China yeah. has also recently promulgated an act where they say all citizens yeah, and act. organizations, yes, need to be assisting their national security apparatus. And if they speak anything wrong, they could be arrested. They Without any... Be, yeah. 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 In fact, and, China, and, they've gone... A, and this has come up about two, three days back only. Okay. So, some months back. But hmm. there is... Now, I'm telling you about the US. It's a open, uh, free democracy, which has got secret laws with built-in gag orders, uh, which fool the rest of the world. And here is China, which is uh, an authoritarian communist state, one party rule, which has got open law saying the same thing. So when I look at it, yeah, it is they a global village. Uh, yeah, it's the same thing. But I am alarmed because we have we are still a young nation. And hum bahut kam umar se, our, this was to protect the nation. And I realize that we can't protect ourselves if this is the state, status of how it is yes. and if we don't change. Yeah, so, uh, unless we stand on our own feet. that right? Yes. Yes, we cannot do anything unless we reduce the. In fact, Atma Nirbhata is to reduce dependence on all these fellows. Absolutely, very so. simple. It's, yeah, is to if technologies, a technology needs to be owned. If it owned. is someone else who is owning it, they will control you. Is the central this of why Atma Nirbhar is, in my understanding, is come about. I am very happy to have contributed to that particular thought process. Thank you, sir. Next slide. Yeah. So, ham to technical aap bhi nahi the, par. ये इसमें अगर घुसना पड़ा तो मुझे पता चला कि टेक्निकल सीखना पड़ेगा ऑल्दो एनडीए में बीए मिला था पर उस टाइम 22 सब्जेक्ट थे और उसी में कंप्यूटर साइंस भी थे सो आई अगेन हैड टू ब्रश अप एंड स्टार्ट रीडिंग एंड आई एंड आई रियलाइज ओके इट ऑल कम्स डाउन टू व्हेन यू टॉक अबाउट साइबर सिक्योरिटी इट कम्स आउट टू समथिंग कॉल्ड द ओएसआई लेयर्स व्हिच आर थ्योरेटिकल इन फंक्शन सो व्हेन यू लुक एट साइबर नेटवर्क्स और एनीथिंग टू डू विद आईसीटी दे से देयर आर सेवन लेयर्स Starting off from the physical data network transport session presentation and application, and when I started studying how have they created and how is all this money coming into it, I realized the dollar is printed and there is a lot of money if you play in layer seven. There is no money if you go down below layer seven, because every na uh, nations would like to control it, because if you control the layers down below. And other nations build their unicorns on layer seven. You can control them anytime. You can switch them off. You can alter them. You can play around with them. So the entire venture capital ecosystem of the globe, which is Western dominated, gives you a lot of money for layer seven. You can become a unicorn overnight. You can create a logistics company for selling this, that. There's a lot of money in it. But anything to go down below, there is no money. So, uh, and for that, China clearly had state funding to go below layer 7, Huawei, etc. They went out there. Today, they're being banned. They're being, their chips are being restricted. They will also get into the physical part of it. So, these are only two nations today who are competing with each other. 
we are not even in the game we are more or less in layer 7 so if you need to get into this i've been a you know ardent votary of a strategic venture capital fund if they realize that the state is uh, supporting this and that venture capital company comes together and looks at the strategic part of you know from physical to networking to all those particular layers which technologies and appliances which control that this is central to achieving data sovereignty and why is that so important because if we do not uh, have uh, you know control over that because all those uh, you know uh, multi domain warfare uh, you know uh, what you had projected sir will all be thing, compromised yes the one thing which you know is uh, connecting all of them in the information age is information and communication technologies so that forms the nervous system of a nation okay and hamara haath pair हमारा आंखें सब कुछ वो नर्वस सिस्टम से कंट्रोल होता है नर्वस सिस्टम के कंट्रोल किसी किसी और के हाथ तो हम कैसे इसको डिफेंड करेंगे वी कैन नॉट डिफेंड दिस आई थिंक यू मेड अ ट्रेमेंडस पॉइंट राइट बिफोर वी गो टू यू ऑल नो हॉरेस दिस हैज बीन आवर फंडामेंटल प्रॉब्लम हाउ डू यू गेट वीन योरसेल्फ अवे फ्रॉम you know dependence on outside technologies and outside everything and be independent on your aim on your own the root of strategic autonomy come from being strategically autonomous on your information because information is power power is what you want knowledge is power and both these today we have placed with someone else right and as we get into the digital age as india rises uh, uh, to be a power on its own we do not have any other choice but to replicate everything on our own land right from a mobile to the you know cloud to the routers to your own isp your dns your servers everything from top to bottom you have to be on your own and since you are now going to be a space power it's all the more important that you have your own stuff i have been a votary of this always and i'm glad that you have come and today spoken about all this also i'm very happy right thank, thank you for giving me an opportunity sir no no we don't have a choice ab hamare nahi to dekhiye aap china ko khojte rehte ho kisi ko bhi khoj sakte ho par baat ye hai in a democracy like india and a huge democracy like india the amount of information which is going around and the amount of information jo sabke paas hai kabar kabar dushman ke bare mein ya kabar apne bare mein sabke paas hai aur wo kabar koi bhi vyakti usko duryogyog kar sakta hai aur hamara history ye hai ki duryogyog hua hai aur ye main ye nahi bol raha hu ki babar ke zamana ke history nahi bol raha hu abhi पांच दस साल पहले हमारे इलेक्शंस में हमारा इलेक्शंस विच आर फंडामेंटल टू आवर सॉवरिटी एंड आवर रिपब्लिक हैव बीन टेम्पर्ड विद राइट आई थिंक यू मेड अ वेरी स्ट्रॉन्ग केस लेट्स मूव हेड एंड देन वी कुड डू सम डिस्कशन आल्सो ऑन दिस या बैक टू यू सो मैं ओएसएलएस के बात किया सो अभी आप सोचिए हमारा एंटी वायरस एंटी वायरस कहाँ रहता है एप्लीकेशन लेयर पे हमारा यूटीएम कहाँ रहता है आके एप्लीकेशन लेयर में कनेक्ट हो जाता है बिकॉज ओएस तो हमारा नहीं है चिप्स हमारा नहीं है सो एवरीथिंग विच टुडे द इंडस्ट्री इज पुशिंग एंड सेइंग कि हम सिक्योर रख करके रखेंगे वो सब कुछ लेयर सेवन में है कंट्रोल नहीं है एंड एयर गैप का मैंने पहले ही स्लाइड में दिखाया देर इज नो एयर गैप पर इतना साल होने के बाद भी दस साल हो गया अभी भी हम वही एक करते रहता है कि और रिचुअली करते रहता है कि वो एयर गैप है और हम यू नो यू नो सर्टिफिकेशन किया है हमने ऑडिट किया है इसलिए हम यू नो सिक्योर रहेंगे हम सिक्योर नहीं रह सकता क्योंकि uh, अगर जितना मैंने यू नो ओ एस एल एस के बारे में और लेयर सेवन जहां हम खेल रहा है उसके बारे में बताया तो आप लोगों को भी समझ में आएगा पर नाउ आई कम बैक टू वाई हैज इट बस यू नो 
persisted so long? Why has this duplicity persisted so long? That is why I mentioned about the IITs. Because our best and brightest, the cream are going abroad. Not, not, not only going abroad, who are staying in India, hmm. is also working for foreign Others. firms. So, the logo is very good. You have to say that 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 you तो हम उनको वापस बोल देता है कि आमदनी तो ठीक है आमदनी आपको अभी मिल रहा है कल कौन करेगा बिकॉज़ हम अगर ईस्ट इंडिया कंपनी के बारे में इफ यू स्टार्ट लुकिंग दे इनिशियली केम फॉर ट्रेड दैट इज व्हाट दीस कंपनीज आर डूइंग टुडे देन दे स्लोली स्टार्टेड एक्सरसाइजिंग कंट्रोल देन दे स्टार्टेड एक्सरसाइजिंग पॉलिटिकल कंट्रोल दे स्टार्टेड टेकिंग ओवर एंड वी वर एनस्लेव्ड एंड दे से हिस्ट्री रिपीट्स इटसेल्फ एवरी टाइम एंड आई कैन सी इट रिपीटिंग इटसेल्फ at least i can see it because i am sure 200 years or 300 years back when east india company came and in 1857 the revolt happened people could see the way we could see today ye to gadbad ho raha hai par hum bachenge kaise hamara itna log unke liye kaam kar raha hai okay so history rhymes history rhymes you know i'm just yeah i think you made a point very well yeah okay so so tam wapas bhi in logon ko poochta hai ki आपको तो नौकरी है कल आपका बच्चे का नौकरी आपको गारंटीड है देन दे गो साइलेंट नाउ वी आर ट्रैप्ड इन आवर ओन यू नो वेब्स व्हिच वी हैव क्रिएटेड या ओके वी गो नेक्स्ट यस नेक्स्ट स्लाइड सर सो आई वाज वन ऑफ द फर्स्ट टू राइट अबाउट डेटा कॉलोनाइज कॉलोनिज्म ओके आई रोट इन वन ऑफ दिस मैगजीन्स पीपल कॉल मी एंड सेड द वेरी गुड एटसेट्रा बट अबाउट प्रिसाइसली आई थिंक अ मंथ मंथ एंड हाफ लेटर you all know what harari in wf also made the same point and i said okay now me saying who knows me you all know what harari is a guy who the whole knows so he took notice okay and i had been saying uh, we are training for a industrial era war and he said when you have enough data you don't need to send soldiers in order to control a country hamara fundamental right hua hai put a swami judgment okay aaj tak we couldn't make the law वो क्यों नहीं हो रहा है हम आगे एक्सप्लोर करेंगे पर ए देखा हमारा इतना डेटा वी आर अ कंट्री विच इज इन विच इज जनरेटिंग द हाईएस्ट पर कैपिटा डेटा एस ऑन डेट अपो कंट्री ओके यू थिंक इट इज हैपेंड बाय एक्सीडेंट एंड व्हेन दैट डेटा द एंटायर हिस्ट्री ऑफ पॉलिटिशियंस ऑफिशियल्स एटसेट्रा आर इन अदर कंट्रीज दे डोंट नीड टू सेंड द आर्मी टू कंट्रोल यू फाइनली इट इज एक्सट्रैक्शन ऑफ वेल्थ colonialism new age colonialism will be a remote colonialism wherein they will control you next slide sir yeah so this uh, that paper jo maine bataya hai because uh, saying that fallacy of the cyber commons maine analyze kiya hai uh, usi mein unless things go to a nuclear war because we are a continental sized nation okay when you are a continental sized nation people sitting in the hinterland don't see the danger we know inevitably that okay pakistan to kabhi andar aa hi nahi sakta china ka bhi border mein ho sakta hai par andar to mushkil lag raha hai and okay british ne pehle aake pakda par itna bada nation hum to hum bhi awaken ho gaya to in log bhi aake nahi kar sakta ye hamara we have a tacit understanding of that but when you look at the nation we are so varied okay we are uh, a merit you know a lot of people had said that this should not be a nation because they are so varied what they did not understand is it's a civilizational nation okay uh, we are not we are ethnically uh, you know different people we are culturally because our river valleys are diverse there are different river valleys in the north different in south we have got different written scripts we speak different languages the dialects change every 10 20 30 kilometers but we are a nation because we are a civilizational nation but and in fact even with the british they could control this nation only with local elites okay and we had a caste system so they came and sat above that caste system okay and they could control but today when the data of individual people are going out there for the first time in history foreign powers using ai will be able to understand what is happening here what is the sentiment which is going on in real time even better than the local elites okay and that can they can control us and if they want us want they can split us 
without even us realizing. So I, in that paper, I had said social cohesion is our biggest, you know, problem. And the data says so. Repeatedly, we have been the country which has had the largest internet shutdowns. Okay? Because right, udar hota hai, koi aur social tension ho jata hai. And by a big margin. This, I don't think is by accident. But do we even have the wherewithal to study this? Okay, next slide, please. Yeah. So there it is. When you look at our, uh, you know, global, uh, the strategic landscape of the globe, including in the India, everything has got cyberspace embedded into it. And I noticed, and I was trying to, you know, teach my course mates and my contemporaries, uh, saying this is central. And people said, yeah, boots on the ground is more central. People started saying, no, armored is this, and uh, artillery is the god of war, and infantry is the queen of battle. Yeah, cyber to pavi, yaar, it's in a smartphone. But you look at it out there. Cyberspace, who controls it, will control the globe and India. Because Sansu has clearly said, baki sab kuch tactics hai, and tactics, if you concentrate, not, uh, concentrate on tactics, it is the noise before defeat. It is a strategy which matters. And we are everywhere, we know that we have got the largest trained manpower, but we have not been able to create products. In fact, our Prime Minister last week, I'm told in the Army Commanders Conference, came down very heavily and said that we are not creating actual Indian products. And he's directed the military and he's told them, please approach. You know, I was so happy and this to know that he has seen through the game. And he's, it is not that people want to purposefully do it. They are only protecting their naukari, their small little interests without seeing the big picture. And yeah. in 2016 was the year, I think, when the American budget for cyber security became bigger than their nuclear budget. Oh, Tarun, my cosmate said, this is the right point. Hai, yaar. Why are they putting so much of money into cyber security? Because of those reasons. The entire critical infrastructure, everything is controlled by ICT. So if you don't have control over that, and control basically means owning that. Okay? Because you can only defend what you own. Aapne a graphical user interface se button daba ke, aap usko control nahi kar sakta. O code se hota hai under se control. Next slide, sir. So why is, and how is this happening? Why is, uh, you know, the, our privacy not happening? India mein lobbying act nahi hai, where everyone has to declare kitna paisa lobby kar raha hai karke. Par uh, western countries mein unka act hai. Aur udar dekhe jayen, the biggest lobbying is being done by all this big tech. Either lobbying act nahi hai, to isliye humko pata nahi chal raha hai ki kitna paisa isme kharch kar raha hai. Agar wo lobby act leke aaya aur usko quantify kiya, aapko pata chalega idhar bhi bahut jyada paisa kharch kar raha hoga. Isliye hamara privacy act nahi hua. A privacy act without data localization has no meaning because our data agar bahar jayega, refer uh, you will know Harari, then they don't need to you know invade you. They will assert is control you. Next slide. You EU ka bhi. okay? Ek to US or EU. These are the best. They are slightly mature democracy. They know the dangers, so they've got lobby and other act. The figures out there also say. The big tech is the ones who are spending maximum money. Next slide. So Sun Tzu, he is considered a sage of war. And he says, the supreme art of war is to subdue the enemy without fighting. So Hambi, uh, when I was in the army, I used to scratch my head and say, what do you do uh, for subdue the enemy without fighting? But Abhi, mujhe saaf pata chal raha hai ki, uh, the way it is going, you won't need to fight on the border because they will already achieve what they want to achieve. That means extracting your wealth. Next slide, sir. So finally, if you look at between, you know, nations historically, okay, Bill Clinton correctly caught it. It's all about the economy. Stupid. He won the election based on that slogan. Okay. The reason is, sabse bada rupaya. People look at short-term gains and necessarily so. It is a paid, you know. It is your stomach which first, uh, you know, controls you, uh, you know, and your thirst and your stomach. So, if you can control the economy and create wealth, other nations have done so. Okay, 
they create wealth and they have ensured that their MNCs come here and are giving part of that wealth, a little bit of that wealth here. Unless you create an innovation economy so that we start employing our own people and we start creating global this and go out there, we have lost the war. Okay. So it's all about the economy, the defense of the nation, the defense of our polity, defense of our control of our political systems is all about creating an innovation economy. And data sovereignty is all about, at least in my this, is all about creating that innovation economy wherein we can control layer 1, 2, 6 and give the layer 7 for the rest of the world to come and join. Okay? Yeah, I agree with today, you. Today it is ulta. Humko badli karna padega. I finish, sir. Back to you. Yeah. Uh, I, I think aapne jo bola hai, बहुत सही बोला है और आपने बता दिया कि कितने पानी में हैं हम और हमारा पानी का लेवल बहुत नीचे है इसमें कोई डाउट नहीं है मेरा एक सवाल है क्या हम हमें सबको पता है ये बात जो आप बोल रहे हो तकरीबन जितने भी थोड़ा विशेषज्ञ हैं उन सबको पता है क्या हम सही रास्ते पे शुरू किया या नहीं यस yes. Firstly, Putasami judgment gives us a chance because it's a fundamental right and fundamental yeah. rights cannot be changed by legislation and eventually that law has to come if not today and when that law comes, if it is not looking after your fundamental rights, it can be challenged. Yeah. Second is Atmanirbar. The biggest, you know, when you look back 100 years, uh, you know, later back at this slice of history, you will realize rest everything was small things. The most important thing what the present government has initiated is this emphasis on creating this innovation economy which they call Atmanirbhar. It is still not a fully rounded policy per se. It lacks certain things. But I am hopeful that the heart of the government is to empower the people and they, if we stick to that, we will change as a nation. But we have to stick to that path. Whatever happens, we have to stick to this path. We have to empower our people and our economic, uh, you know, innovation people, and we will then slowly come back to our historical this of uh, 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 a very dominant economic and a, uh, you know uh, maybe okay military and soft power because we were always seen as a benign force in the world which attracted people by its uh, you know uh, strength of its thought and its philosophy. So for that to happen, we have to because the world will not admire you if you just do yoga. They will admire you if you are a very wealthy nation and you are showing them the path and you are being the innovation center. So I, uh, you know, I am very, very hopeful. We are a very young nation. We, we have no other choice if we have to give jobs to our people. Uh, there is a buzzword called artificial intelligence, AI. So what is AI? In my simple way, I'll try and explain this to you. Uh, a human being has got five senses, okay? Eyes, uh, uh, nose, ears, touch, etc., etc. And from those senses, our brain, it gets imprinted into our brain and we, uh, uh, you know, uh, slowly we discern the, uh, this and we become, uh, our intelligence grows, okay? Artificial intelligence, we I say, yeah. But it is not five. They might have millions of sensors, different types of sensors, Okay, beyond human hearing, beyond human eyesight, you know, uh, beyond what the electromagnetic spectrum which we are dis discerning, and even the smell, taste, etc., beyond what we can. Now that all will finally come into AI algorithms, and artificial intelligence pehle pehle shuru ho jayega. But this ICT is central because wo data agar alter kar sakta hai na, wo brain ka sahi decision nahi banayega. Yeah. I agree with you. On artificial intelligence also is based on what data you feed it. And what, how data is fed into it is the basic thing. जो आपने बताया मैं थोड़ा और बताना चाहता हूँ जो जहाँ तक मेरे को पता है ऐसी बात नहीं है कि आपने जैसे बताया कि पांच छह साल पहले हमारे पास कोई क्षमता नहीं था कि ये जो fundamental you know hardware to put it on ground right पर मेरे को अभी पता है कि पहले बार कोई हमारे देश में प्रोसेसर बना रहे हैं पहली बार पिछले दो तीन साल से 
हमारा कोशिश है कि सेमीकंडक्टर्स बनाएं क्योंकि सेमीकंडक्टर के बिना आप प्रोसेसर खुद के प्रोसेसर बना सक, नहीं बना सकते जब राइट अगर आपके पास डिजाइन भी है तो तो आप सेमीकंडक्टर बना रहे हो अभी आप प्रोसेसर बनाना शुरू किया हाल ही में हमने अपना ओन ऑपरेटिंग सिस्टम भी शुरू किया बनाना और तो और हम अपना खुद फाइव का सिस्टम भी बना रहे हैं कि चक्कर में है चक्कर नहीं कि बना रहे हैं हम क्योंकि ये सब हमारे आईआईटी में ही हो रहा है हमें पता है इतना तो और बाकी जो हार्डवेयर है वो है अगर सबके पास हमारा सामग्री है और कोई क्लाउड क्लाउड सेंटर चाहिए हमें सबको डेटा को कैप्चर करके रखने के लिए उसके और भी कुछ काम शुरू हो रहा है और कुछ लोग देखिए कुछ लोग बाहर से भी आके यहाँ लगा रहे हैं जैसे एक है रेम्बू श्रीधर जो सॉफ्टवेयर सब दे रहे हैं वो तमिलनाडु में जाके डीप इन तमिलनाडु लगा रहे हैं तो इसके जो पवित्र राजन ने आज बला बताया है उसके और चल रहे हैं पर बात यह है और कि क्या हम सही रास्ते पे तो जा रहे हैं सही रफ्तार में जा रहे हैं कि नहीं ये बात है राइट और मेरे को कोई डाउट नहीं है आत्मनिर्भरता इज फंडामेंटल एंड लाइक यू साइड अर्लियर टेक्नोलॉजी बॉट इज चीप टेक्नोलॉजी सॉरी टेक्नोलॉजी ओन इज चीप टेक्नोलॉजी बॉट इज कॉस्टली एंड टू मोर इट बिकम लीड टू स्लेवरी राइट सो आई थिंक यू गिव अ गुड पिक्चर अबाउट द होल अफेयर सो विल टेक सम क्वेश्चन फ्रॉम द ऑडियंस एंड देन विल रैप इट अप राइट uh the questions might not be that uh, this thing right so you'll have to be patient about what they have to say right uh okay oh sorry uh jawarlal says why can't in why india can't counter and counter attack propaganda against india by pakistan and china yeah तो हम तो आई फील दैट वी आर काउंटरिंग इट वेरी वेल वेरी वी आर या वी आर वन ऑफ द लार्जेस्ट नंबर ऑफ यू नो आवर पॉपुलेशन इज सो वास्ट एंड द इंटरनेशनल यू नो कॉमन लैंग्वेज इज इंग्लिश एंड वी हैव गॉट अ लार्ज स्पीकिंग पॉपुलेशन हमारे बहुत सारे लोग हैं उसमें एंड देयर आर कंपनीज व्हिच आर नाउ टुडे कमिंग अप व्हिच आर कंसीडरिंग ऑन यू नो डिसइंफॉर्मेशन मिसइंफॉर्मेशन फेक न्यूज़ एटसेट्रा सो आई पर्सनली फील वी आर काउंटरिंग इट Only thing is, we lack certain laws. That privacy law is so important. Data localization is so important. There, because uh, abhi abhi tak to what I am saying in real time, uh, I know that that is what you are hearing. Future platforms, I might be sitting here and speaking. I might think that what I am saying is what you are hearing. But well, AI will manipulate it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They yeah, will, yeah. they will make you listen to that in the way your particular individual aspirations are. Yeah, okay, I agree with that you. is where the danger is. Yeah. Okay. Next question: Can Indian cyber experts penetrate Chinese firewall and steal their data? Okay. So, uh, okay. Let me just slightly technical. I will go. There are three pillars which people have propagated as fundamental to cyber security. Confidentiality, integrity and availability. Okay. तो हम जब आया हमने बोला ये तीन काफी नहीं है इससे पहले दो और कंडीशन चाहिए दैट इज ट्रस्ट एंड रेसिलियंस सो ट्रस्ट तो हम हमारे ही कर सकता है अंडर अवर सोवर इन जुडिशिक्शन रेसिलियंस इज अगर कोई भी देर इज नथिंग कॉल्ड एप्सिलूट सिक्योरिटी ह्यूमन इंजीनिटी इज सच दैट ऑल सिक्योर सिस्टम कैन बी ब्रीच बट द एबिलिटी टू डिसर्न दट ब्रीच एंड यू नो हील इट इन रियल टाइम इज वॉट मैटर्स so we can you know get into china uh, but this since they have their own systems they will be able to detect it and finish the breach hamara kya hai hamara infrastructure to chinese hardware se hai huawei city they are the ones who are sitting to agar wo breach ho gaya aur humko pata bhi chala hum kya karenge hum unko call karke bolenge ki are uh, huawei sahab aapka pla ne hamara breach kiya ye thoda theek karo ye nahi ho sakta na so we although we can china has got up a hand we yeah. frankly yeah. i bluntly say this we need to change yeah, this i have no doubt about it we have to change it on that there's no doubt at all yeah colonel rajan sir i have read your book yeah great insight sir which you stressed on ict and digital silk route by z sir do you think india has arrived to indigenize and manufacture in ict etc mobiles and all that 
so thank you vijay kumar uh, you know i'm glad to know that you like my book but um we have made certain progress but like i said it is not enough we are today at the assembling stage we need to create ip and you know manufacture our own we have to incentivize manufacturing and for that one of the central things is us again i say a strategic venture capital fund because foreign venture capital will not fund competition which is below, beyond, uh, below layer 7 yes below and layer 7 biggest, is what it matters and the biggest capability you need to build is computational capability and storage capability absolutely so the data which you have to uh, uh, which you generate has to be stored somewhere so you need huge cloud apparatus and you need to have a huge capability of uh, computing otherwise the you cloud know cannot where... be yes sir you are correct the cloud cannot be created by buying western hardware western or chinese hardware. hardware you have to do your own yeah because their law says extra judicial control hum ka yeah. jahan bhi hamara hai wo company ko bolega chup chap de do humko pata bhi nahi chalega hum hum yeah, humse nikala de diya yeah this publishing military hardware specifications harm mil- indian military readiness political parties demanded for major purposes okay so a aap uh, you have touched uh, you know the way you have uh, put it across let me i am not for publishing see kya hai aapne wo cisco ka router ka dekh liya pehle mm-hmm. jab when we used to do purchases kya hota tha aisa centrally you know sabko local formations mein baantta tha and local formation अपना पीसी वगैरह असेंबल करके लोकल मार्केट से लेता था तो देन लेटर ऑन इट बिकेम सेंट्रलाइज्ड तो छह महीने पहले टेंडर निकलता है सबको पता चल जाता है तो वो जो फाइनली जो सो आप खुद समझ सकता है आई एम वी हैव टू क्रिएट दिस इन यू नो मैन्युफैक्चरिंग इंफ्रास्ट्रक्चर हियर ओके एंड वी हैव टू हैव गोइंग नोवर या बट दिस सेंट्रल पब्लिशिंग एंड गिविंग एंड गिविंग देम एडवांस नोटिस स्टूपिड नो yeah it is look we, uh, let me put it across when we didn't have the capability we didn't have the understanding we we did we did what we did but things are changing so take it from me that things are changing right i'll leave it at that yeah i would like your opinion on dpi is being built in india is in that below layer 7 okay so what is this dpi i'm sorry i do not know i like also I don't know what he's talking yeah yeah so believe it I'll, uh, vignesh come back with the question or elaborate a question what is the uh, dpi yeah it's jargon we need to manufacture critical electronic hardware and servers to servers to circumvent the security breach to some extent are there no argument on this actually yes for trust and resilience you need to do this we need you to have need our to do this yes. right yes. Uh, right so look वट इज कम आउट लाउड एंड क्लियर आज का जो इन्होंने संदेश हमें दिया है वो क्या है अगर हमें आत्मनिर्भर होना है तो हमें अपना खुद का हार्डवेयर चाहिए जिसके जरिए हम अपना इंफॉर्मेशन को काबू कर सकते हैं और रख सकते हैं जिस तरीके से हम इन ये जो हार्डवेयर खरीद रहे हैं और दूसरे देशों के ऊपर निर्भर हैं वो उससे कोई फायदा नहीं है और मेरा राय ये है राइट इस मामले में चाइना ने जो किया वो उचित सही किया है क्योंकि उन्होंने अपना देश का जो जितना भी इंफॉर्मेशन है वो अपने हाथ में और उनका सब कुछ उनके हाथ में उनके फ्यूचर भी अपने हाथ में है हम सोचते सोच सकते हैं कि वो फायर वॉल है हम कनेक्ट नहीं कर सकते पेनेट्रेट नहीं कर सकते वगैरह 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 पर कम से कम वो आजाद है राइट right? वो दूसरे देश के ऊपर निर्भर नहीं है अगर हमें एक पावर बनना है आगे जाके हमें भी ये कदम शुरू करना चाहिए हो सकता है दस साल के बाद हो हो सकता है पंद्रह साल के बाद हो उसे कोई लेना देना नहीं है हमें एक कदम उठाना चाहिए और मेरे को ये भी पता है कि ये पहल हो गया है राइट right? निराश होने की जरूरत नहीं है टाइम लगेगा अपने आप होगा ओके आई थिंक ओ Vignesh says DPI is digital public inf- infrastructure like UPI. Okay, so Vignesh, if you are talking about uh, specifically now, since you have said digital, whatever I know about whatever we are creating, it's all assembling by buying appliances from different different places, 
uh, okay and just creating it and uh, upi specifically you know uh, i personally feel it's a national security disaster uh, this is my personal opinion it's also a major threat to privacy this should have come after a privacy law and it just should have uh, okay and it has to be rapidly indigenized uh, this is my uh, uh, you know yeah i agree uh, with you there's no doubt two yeah. ways about it yeah. yeah yeah right okay fine i think we've had a great evening uh, i thank all viewers jo jitne bhi unhone hamara sath participate kiya hai i also thank pavitran uh, as an infantry officer he has come up with the great technology you know breakthrough because to talk about this needs knowledge right to talk with the confidence which he has spoken needs knowledge and i'm thankful to you pavitran i am also looking forward aaj jo hai na ye pehla baat cheet hai i would like more uh, informed discussion on this with others whom you can get along because unless as a nation hum aage nahi soch sakte hain aur bada nahi soch sakte hain hum bada nahi banenge right uh, your last words and then we'll close up so indeed sir i also enjoyed uh, you know uh, interacting and uh, i'm very grateful that you have called me to oh, come on your show uh, i'm uh, you know i'm uh, people have asked very interesting questions uh, so uh, thank you so much sir thanks a lot uh, namaskar namaskar and thank thanks you. a lot and jai hind jai hind sir